Hi, my name is Tom Dick, and I'm a math professor and a math advisor for Texas Instruments. This short video is part of the TI in Focus AP Calculus series. And here we're going to explore how you can calculate or approximate improper integrals even on a TI-84. That does, is not a computer algebra system calculator. Let's start out with a quick review of improper integrals. Uh, improper integrals come in two types. One type has minus infinity or infinity as a limit of integration. These are sometimes called type 1 improper integrals. Type 2 improper integrals have an integrand that actually approaches minus infinity or infinity at one of the points of integration, often at an endpoint. Now we're returning to the TI-84. We're going to actually try to calculate a couple of type 2 improper integrals. The first one we're going to try using just the regular fn int command is the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over the square root of x. This is an improper integral because it has a discontinuity at 0. Now this particular improper integral does converge and so we're going to enter it and just hope for the best and see what happens when we calculate. And amazingly, we actually get a value very close to the limit of this improper integral, which is actually 2. The reason for this is the numerical integration capability is not actually sampling at x equals 0. And so we actually get a pretty good approximation as long as the improper integral converges. Now let's try another one of these type 2 improper integrals. But this one time, let's look at one that actually is divergent. We're going to look at the integral from 0 to 2, 1 over x squared dx. Again, we have a discontinuity at x equals 0, but 1 over x squared grows much faster near 0 than 1 over square root of x. In this case, when we try to calculate, the calculator is not able to converge on a value. Now, we have to be very careful here, because just because this tolerance was not reached, doesn't mean we can just assume that the integral is divergent. Now let's take a look at some type 1 improper integrals. Suppose we wanted to try to approximate the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x squared dx. We don't have an infinity symbol that we can use as a limit of integration, but we might think the next best thing for an approximation is to try a very large value in place of infinity. In this case, I'm trying to use a 100 million as a substitute for infinity. So I've entered my integral. And in this case, this particular improper integral does converge, but we have not come up with a very good approximation at all. In fact, here is what a computer algebra sy system has reported. We should have gotten a value close to 1. Here's a way we can make use of calculus as a strategy to help out the calculator. If you make the substitution u equals 1 over x, or equivalently x equal 1 over u, into a type 1 improper integral, you'll end up converting it into either a proper integral or possibly a type 2 improper integral. And we've just seen that as long as it converges, the calculator does a pretty decent job with convergent type 2 improper integrals. So here's an example that shows that substitution idea at play. Here we have the type 1 improper integral, 2 to infinity, 1 over x cubed dx. After making that substitution, it actually makes it into a proper integral. Let's actually use that strategy here on the TI-84. So I'm looking at the integral from 2 to infinity, 1 over x cubed dx. Now our first strategy was to just use a very large number in place of infinity. So let's try that again. We've already seen that didn't work very well when we tried it with 1 over x squared. And we may be suspicious that it won't work very well with 1 over x cubed. But let's go ahead and give it a try and see what happens. So I've entered that and we get a value this is a convergent improper integral, but we got a value that's not very good at all. In fact, the value that we should have gotten was 1 8th. Now let's try that substitution technique. So using that substitution u equals 1 over x, our new limits of integration 
changing from 2 to infinity with x will become 0 to 1 half for u. And our integrand, if we substitute x equals 1 over u, we'll actually have u cubed. And the substitution for dx will actually give us a 1 over u squared du. Our limits of integration were flipped to take care of the negative sign. So I'm going to integrate u cubed over u squared du from 0 to 1 half and see if we get a value close to 1 eighth. There it is. Well that concludes this short video. This video along with many other resources for AP Calculus can be found at education.ti.com.